everyone, welcome back to Crypto Malaysia. My name is Aaron and today we'll be talking about a project called Hermes. Not Hermes, the luxury brand, but uh, Hermes, the Ethereum Layer 2 ZK roll-up project. So obviously with a uh, Layer 2 solution, they seek to solve the scalability issue of Ethereum. And how they solve that is basically they move all the uh, so-called uh, simple transaction because more than 50% of the Ethereum load is actually a very simple transaction. Uh, from very high volume coins uh, such as uh, DAI or USDT. So they intend to uh, move all those transactions uh, on this uh, particular layer. Now it is uh, quite interesting. Uh, it is uh, also uh, capable of a smart contract, but they're not going to have smart contract in the beginning. And that's uh, actually kind of like a big uh, minus for the project because uh, nowadays um, with the popularity of DeFi, um, you actually need some sort of a smart contract capability in order to create uh, borrowing lending or staking contracts uh, as such. So uh, having a fast network with uh, no such capability probably would not be very interesting at the moment. So let's go through this project. Uh, this will be like an introduction. So they use uh, security that's provided by ZK Snart, which is a zero knowledge proof as uh, pioneered by Zcash, which is a very famous um, uh, privacy coin. So um, they, um, through this CK start, they actually use something called a uh, trusted setup, which uh, requires a multi-party computation where um, a group of people get together and they process a piece of information um, through each of their own computers. And by the end of which uh, they, they, are, uh, they obtain a single piece of information and this must be destroyed or else it may compromise the entire system. So the thing is that um, you actually need to trust that this particular group of people would not collude. So obviously they would invite um, very well trusted uh, people in the Ethereum community to participate in that. So that has been done and the network has been launched. And because they have zero knowledge proof, they actually were able to compress, uh, for example, transaction data into just a sing single uh, zero knowledge proof signature, which is stored on the Ethereum blockchain. So that's super interesting. And with that, they also managed to scale uh, the speed from just 14 transactions per second on the Ethereum mainnet to something like 2,000 transactions per second, which is, which is uh, a lot, right? So, so there, there is uh, 2,000 slots, basically. And uh, with this system where they bundle everything together um, and you don't know, you know where the transaction is originating on the network, so you don't have a problem uh, with um, Ethereum right now where you have, for example, front running bots on uh, Uniswap, you know, because they're able to, you know, have visibility on the order of transaction. They're able to pay a high gas fee to get in front of the queue uh, as such. So this is uh, really interesting. And it's also going to be fully open source and community driven and it's going to have a network of coordinators. So what's a coordinator? A coordinator is basically like a miner except that they have a new system where they call it a proof of donation. Okay, so uh, in order to get the right to mine a block, they actually have to go through an auction or a bidding war uh, among all the coordinators. And one of the highest fee would actually be able to get that, you know, uh, the right to mine that block and they would need to pay a certain fee. So part of that fee will go to uh, the project uh, as a donation, part of it will be burned. So that's a very, very interesting model to have. And uh, the other thing is that uh, the coordinators actually uh, need uh, quite a high spec uh, uh, computer. Um, so when you need a high spec computer, not everybody will qualify and you would also be judged uh, on your performance. So this is a very um, popular concept, uh, the concept of uh, you know performance and uh, you know, if you don't perform, either you don't get chosen or maybe you have uh, your reward slash. So once uh, tokens are transferred, let's say if I want to transfer from uh, Ethereum, I would transfer my token, for example, through um, to the smart contract where it's locked and I would have the tokens on the Hermes network, which is uh, Ethereum layer two. Now these are some of the applications, uh, as you can see, they're targeting mainly stable coins uh, or cryptocurrencies with very high volume. Uh, of course, they make it easier for uh, users to, to use digital wallet. In the beginning, I think uh, they'll be a, you'll be allowed to use a MetaMask. So all you need to do is just connect to their network on MetaMask and everything else should operate the same way. 
Now, uh, transaction aggregators, they are targeting uh, people like uh, financial services, merchants, or exchanges. So yeah, so the I think the benefits is quite clear. Uh, they do have a token. Let's take a look at how the token is doing. So it is quite interestingly. Um, so if you look back at the history, it was launched. Uh, as I remember, I believe it was launched at a dollar. So uh, they they will probably they probably launched earlier, and uh, Coin Market Cap um, integrated the data a little bit late. And the price is already two dollars and forty-four cents. But uh, as you can see now, uh, the performance is quite good. So yeah, so we're looking at uh, basically, yeah, a price level where it could exceed its all-time high. Now, in terms of uh, market cap, it's already a thirty million dollar coin, and in fact, um, the network is up. But um, I think, I think it does not have like a. Um, it does not have like a smart contract capability and that's a really big uh, drawback especially if you you know want to attract more attention uh, to your network there's a lot of details available and uh, this this is a very techy project meaning that um, they, their uh, marketing plan was actually to get engaged with uh, various ethereum communities worldwide and they did a, a event with uh, ethereum in malaysia ethereum kl and I wasn't there for that, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I was a bit uh, tied up with other stuff. But uh, but I think this project would probably be known if you're a smart contract developer or you're involved in any Ethereum community worldwide. But perhaps uh, maybe not so well known, right? If you're the general public. So so this is why I find it interesting. Uh, here is like um, you know all the details of proof of donation. I'm always uh, fascinated with like new forms of uh, consensus. I think that's really cool, and of course, you know they, they have a lot of plan. Uh, you know they, they want this uh, project to be, you know, absolutely, absolutely uh, decentralized. But with every decentralized project, when it's a baby, um, for example, the so-called uh, coordinator, they, they will actually have a um, you know like a bootstrap um, system where they start processing the block. Before they find more and more of these uh, coordinators that is, uh, you know, reliable and uh, trustworthy. So uh, do take a look at this. Um, it is uh, in competition with uh, another technology, layer two technology called optimistic rollup. And optimistic rollup, um, a lot of projects are looking at this uh, right now. There's not much choice actually. So right now, most of the projects are looking at XDAI because XDAI actually has a smart contract capability. But all this is uh, sort of like a stopgap measure until Ethereum uh, 2.0 uh, fully rolls out. So, um, so it's going to be interesting. I think uh, this project maybe you know with what smart contract capability. I think it's a little bit behind. I don't think anyone will take a look at this uh, seriously until they do so. Uh, but they do have a very interesting you know new consensus and uh, they do use like technology and also like trusted setup actually works against them. I think there is a you know trustless uh, technology out there um, that they can use and uh, they, they should you know but anyway this is uh, another project in the spectrum of uh, layer twos or you know Eve killers or you know um, all these scalability solution that's uh, propped up so I hope you like this episode uh, click the like button and if you want to see my latest videos on time uh, or as soon as possible then uh, you know, do subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.